Here we go. Hello and welcome to Tales from the Closet. <laughs> I've wanted to do that every time uh, I'm a guest on this show. Uh, I'm your host, Ali Beardsley. Uh, I have been hosting this show, Tales from the Closet, for quite some time now, and nothing is different about me at all today, um, except I'm going to call myself Grant O'Brien uh, uh, and just say that I'm guest hosting. Um, uh, uh, oh God, that was going to be a whole. <laughs> the, I, I I immediately got tired of that bit of, of pretending to be Ali. I'm Grant O'Brien. I'm guest hosting for Ali Beardsley, um, which means that this show is probably going to have more sex stories than usual. <laughs> uh, but, and you're all you're all just going to have to get on board with that. Um, uh, speaking of people that have to get on board with things, uh, hello to my wonderful panel. Hi. Thanks for Hi. having me on board. Oh, oh, my pleasure. Thank you very much. I'll start down on the end. This is John Milheiser. Uh, John. Uh, um, uh, uh, why don't you start by telling us how you identify and what your pronouns are? Sure. I'm him, he. Great. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, terrific. And, uh, do you, and do you identify as gay, bi, oh, straight? Uh, gay. Great. Uh, uh, well, welcome to Tales from the Closet. Thank you. Uh, 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 to John's right, right is Oscar Montoya. Hey. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I couldn't be better. Great. Um... Uh, it, you and I uh, made out a whole bunch for a video. <laughs> we did. <laughs> like, like the last time I saw you, we were making out we for like for hours at a time. For hours, and then I realized that you were, you're the first person I've made out with in I want to say two and a half years. Uh, great. <laughs> Which is so sad. Ah! Well, how was I? It was great. Oh, it was, you're a great kisser. Oh, good. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do. I do, and I can. <laughs> see, see how I led you right there. Yeah. See how I see you how I you walked you down a primrose me. path to get that information. <laughs> uh, Oscar, what are your pronouns he, and how do you identify? And uh, gay. Great. Yeah. Uh, then to Oscar's right is Christine Medrano. Hello. Hello, Christine. How are you? I'm fantastic. It's nice to have you on the show. Yeah, I'm excited to be on the show. Thanks for having me. Oh, uh, it's Ali's pleasure. Um, <laughs> what uh, uh, are your pronouns and how do you identify? Um, she, she, her. I think that's right. And um, I guess like bi, pan, queer. Great. Something like that. Like I'm just, yeah, that. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> uh, and I'm Grant O'Brien and uh, I am uh he, him, and I identify as bi, uh, and I am going to uh, really just run this show over. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna really cause problems for the company. Uh, I'm uh, uh, a bi villain. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like anytime I'm on the show, I am kind of the heel. I, I do, I am kind of like the bad guy usually when I, usually when I'm on here, uh, and so to host in that character is really very satisfying. Um, but this being tales from the closet, uh, I would like to get from each of you now a tale from the closet. Um, and if oh, it, there was no lightning I know, I thought it was effect. Too. Oh. Yeah, I, I, uh, I kind of forget when in. those are supposed to come. Uh, also, I was supposed to be holding candles at the top of this, but uh. fuck it. You're holding coffee. I'm holding coffee. It's close enough. I'm holding yeah. coffee. It's actually, it's a, it's a, this isn't a good story. <laughs> it's, a, it's a seltzer, but we can't use the brand of seltzer that it is, so I poured it into a coffee cup. Ew. Oh, God, That's already. Weird. Just a disaster. Um, does anyone have a tale from their closet that comes to mind? Uh, a story from when you were uh, hiding your identity from this cruel world? Well, I am kind of like newly. Yeah. I, I didn't know. I was a late, late, late bloomer. Congratulations. Thank Welcome. You. Welcome to the party. Thank you. So happy to be here finally. I was waiting outside probably for a while. Um, but I only came out to my mom like in February. Oh, wow. Whoa. And it was only because I had like, this is like going to sound like very braggy. I had like a short film that's like about me being like queer and it got into a festival. And so I wanted to invite her to it. And so I was like, hey, I have this festival. Um, if you want to come, she's like, okay, where is it? And I was like, so that's the thing. So. It was Outfest. And I was like, oh, I guess oh. we're coming. That's great, though. Yeah. How did it go? Oh, my mom is like totally chill and cool, and I have like a gay brother, and she works at the AIDS and Oncology Ward and her 50th birthday at the Abbey. So, like, I don't know why I couldn't tell her before. Um, but it was good. She was great. Um, 
Yeah, she was just like, why did you tell me over the phone? She was really more upset about that. And she was like, of course I still love you, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, it was cool. That's wonderful. Aww. Yeah, it was a good thing. Now, and tell me if it's none of my business. Yeah. Have, have you been out to people other than your mom yeah, for I've some time? Yeah, I've been doing stand-up about it for like more than a year. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I like got put on a list of like 35 blah, blah, blah to watch. And I like they couldn't share it because I was like, what if my mom sees this? That, is, that is a thing about being in the closet. Like if there's one... One person or group of people that you're not out to, even if you're out to everyone yeah. else in your life, it really does, like, there's still an emotional weight to being yeah. in the closet. And it felt weird just because it was like, she's my mom and my mom's, like, super chill and we're close. That's great. So that was weird. Mm. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, I'm, gl- I'm so glad it went well. Yeah. That's I'm wonderful. Happy. Yeah. Um, is there, a, how does it feel being out? Is there a difference or is it relatively the same? It feels so different and I feel like it's, like, it's, it's so much better. I just like to compare it to like if you're like listening to the radio and the dial's like one number off and then you get it to the like right number and you're like, oh, it's crystal clear. Like now I feel like I've like made it with more girls on camera than in real life now. I feel like people just keep casting me as like the bi girl, the lesbian or whatever. So I don't know. It's, it's been great professionally. I don't know. I'm here. <laughs> Tell me an Oscar about it. That's how that's how that goes. Because <laughs> there's so, I guess there's such like a small pool to pull from. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, which which is look. which is which is honestly a little wild to me. <laughs> yeah. I'm always surprised that there's like straight like uh, heterosexual people that won't. I'm like, why isn't the whole world queer at this point? Like, yeah. oh, it's so almost fun. There. We're almost there. Mm-hmm. It's so gotta, good. Just it's so much being queer better. Is just, oh my god, it's just fun. great. I just it's so fun all the time. Always. Yeah. Um, great. Uh, so speaking of it being great, Oscar, do you have any tales from the closet? From the closet. Um, when I, well, s- mm. Okay, so I came out when I was 17 mm-hmm. as gay. Uh, and um, But I was still dating women for a very long time. Uh, but I, I don't... I don't know why I was, st- you know, you know what it was. So I went to a uh, performing arts school. I, I was a dance major, and I was like very out, very gay, and as a dancer. Now that's interesting. You don't see that a lot. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I was very brave. That's you know, I respect that. it a lot. Super brave, and um, so yeah, I just like dated women for two years after that. After and, you came out? Yeah, after I came out, and. But I was still identified as gay. Were not you, like, as trying queer. to be like, like maybe I just give it one last shot. You know what it was? It was like I sort of allowed myself to be like, you know, I, I'm bigger than labels. Like I will sure. accept mm-hmm. anybody. But I still was tied to that label and very like, I am gay because people would be like, I'm very confused. I don't know what. Yeah, yeah. you're I was like, you're um, dating Ashley, thing. but mm-hmm. <laughs> you're dating Ashley, but you're like, you say that you're gay, and I'm like, yeah, I am. I think that's cool. That's I I think I actually think that's really rad. Where I feel like now I just didn't I didn't have the language for queer at the time. Sure. Yeah. You know, so like because back in the day, um, people didn't say que- that they were queer. You know, queer was sort of like a derogatory term at the yeah. time, um, and I did just didn't have that verbiage of sort of like. S- f- sexually flexible. Totally. Yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? It, it feels like, oh, well, if I'm not straight, then I am gay. Yeah. That, yeah. that will be... I remember it being a huge relief when I figured out that I was bi. When I, when <laughs> oh I was able God. to put like language to that and be like, oh, yeah, that makes so much more sense. Yeah, it's weird to me, too. Like, for me, it was like... Because also people were like, well, you're bi, you like men and women. I'm like, well, to me, that label sort of just doesn't quite fit with me and um, I the reason why I was like I'm still gay is because like this is gonna sound very strange but culturally I felt like I was Mm -hmm. gay I I don't think that sounds strange at all just like just culturally that was that was that was my vibe yeah sexually I was a little more flexible with that sure Mm -hmm. um if that may I don't know no that I I think I think that makes a lot of sense I think uh, there uh, t- uh, God, this show always turns into a fucking sociology lesson. <laughs> that, but the but I I do think that there's um, y- y- so much of being queer 
is uh, it, it, it is like naming yourself as a part of a community. Mm-hmm. Like like you know, there's there's the community you belong to, and there's what you do sexually. And mm. while those things are related, they are different aspects of your life, and they can be independent of, of each other. Yeah, yeah. It, it is interesting to see to like label. A label for yourself versus your community. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, because if I I say I'm queer, like I have a very, like, from the outside in, people have a very specific perception of me. If I say I'm gay, that's another very, uh, like, specific perception Mm -hmm. by saying, you know what I mean? Like, non binary, all of that stuff. But that might not be the label that I'm comfortable labeling myself. Sure. Right? And labels. it's nice to say that they don't matter. When, when people say labels mm. don't matter, I think what they're trying to say is label, oh, h- however you, you are, uh, are identified, I recognize your humanity. Mm-hmm. But labels do matter. There is, you know, h- how you name yourself and what community you, you choose to right. identify with does have weight, and it is important, and mm-hmm. it should be important. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> This is a funny show. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, the funny thing is, I broke up with this girl and started uh, exclusively seeing men from then on. The end. Uh, you know what? Very funny. <laughs> yeah. uh, very, very funny. Uh, jokes on her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, John, do you have any tales from the closet? Well, I have like a long tale that's like probably still going. Um, Great. When you were in the when you're in the closet, when well, for me when I was younger, and I like knew I was gay, but before I came out. If I saw a hot guy walk by, I would give a glance, but then I would always feel like people or my dad was watching my eyes to see like if I was looking at him. <laughs> so I would restrict myself from ever looking at hot people, totally. hot guys, to be like, oh, oh, I'm looking at that tree over there. That's really <laughs> tree. What's, what's going and on? hot guys on like television, if like a shirt came off, I'd be like, and like I would, a hundred percent. Catch myself doing it today. I'm like, stop. A hundred percent. It's like no one's looking at your eye. I've never looked at someone to see like where they're looking. <laughs> yeah, like I feel like that happened a million times growing up. Like I was just. Like, Do you remember one of them? Do you remember a time when you saw? I'm trying to figure out what your type is. Do you? Do you <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Uh, no. I was just in Austin seeing my sister and my parents, um, and I was, at, you know, I was out with my parents, who I've been out to for a very long time. And even now, I was still like, I better not look at anybody. My my parents yeah. are out. It's like, what the fuck? They don't care. First of all, they won't notice, and second of all, they won't care. I'm like, cat's out of the bag. They're not. I'm not going <laughs> to surprise them uh, if you know there's some snacky twink that walks by. Yeah. Um, so snacky twinks or uh, big bears? What do we? What do we? Do? I don't actually. You don't have to actually have to answer that question. That's not important. <laughs> yes, you do. What's well, important? What's important? I think as you get older, for me, uh, bears are coming more to the picture. I'm just like, okay. Y- I your get type it. does expand the yeah. older you get. Mm. It's it is sort of like, oh, actually, there's this there's this whole um, world I haven't explored yet. That is that that will be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm curious, Christian. What's your type? Um, <laughs> I like this. Okay, so I like. The first girl I ever dated, and because I was one of those people who, like, I like when you're like, I knew I was attracted. I was like, I didn't know. Like, I truly was just like, I'm straight. I'm straight. But like, my me and my boyfriend's first song was like a Tegan and Sarah B side. Like, yes. I just knew. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> but my my ex was like tall, blonde, twenty years old, and like she had a body like Jessica Rabbit. Um, so she was just like, it was one of those things where I'm Jessica like, of course- Rabbit comes up so much on this show. <laughs> really, Jessica Rabbit. Comes Comes from, up from who? The women? From gay women. <laughs> from gay women. <laughs> like Jessica Rabbit has a, a is a big deal. Jessica Rabbit and and this and this, I like how you said big deal. Uh, Jessica Rabbit has, has oh, this yeah, very important personality. Yeah. <laughs> Jessica Rabbit and this hot squirrel and I think the fox and the hound is for for or gay the women. Girl, the girl oh, from Space Jam. The the bunny. Oh yeah, movie. Lola, Lola Bunny. Lola Lola bunny. bunny. Mm-hmm. Or even like in um, a Goofy movie. Oh, uh, Roxy. Uh, yeah, a Roxy. Goofy yeah. movie like Max is I. Was my type like uh-huh. that? Was oh man, Max Max Goof was was my type. Holy what is shit! The, what is the deal with uh, 
uh, people falling in love with like animal, car- like They're Robin cartoons? Hood. Remember Disney well, Robin, Robin Hood was like a very snack. Sexy. Uh, Robin Hood's very sexy. That, that, uh, that like yeah. that sort of like yeah. swagger that he has. It, I think it is. It's that. That's confident. where that term. Oh, he's a fox came from. Yeah, there you go. That was the first time people. I'm lying, but <laughs> swear, fire. Probably. That's fair. Yeah. Um, oh no, or like Aladdin. Come on, Aladdin oh, with yeah. his Crickets. with his chest all oh, out. Bell. Bell was a. Well, she was a bell. Bell was a babe. She was a babe, absolutely. Um, Aladdin freaked me out because he had no nipples. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> he straight I'm, up. I'm thinking Look back at a picture now. of Aladdin because he's got like he's shirtless and he's got that little vest. I'm but trying to think of Aladdin. Where, are, to do where are his nipples? I just assume they were under the vest. He's Maybe they're, they're, they're very wide set. I guess Prince Eric <laughs> yeah. didn't have nipples. I'm trying to think of like my memory. file of like Disney oh, nipples. Um, yeah, coming straight up, up empty. that should be the one. That should if if you're looking. They Is don't this exist? okay? I'm looking out of the producers for all the Disney talk. Yeah, probably. We'll go with that. Yeah, sure, is that sure. Allowed? I Sorry. think that's yeah, good. Yeah, they're giving us the thumbs up. Uh, so you here's can't my do big a gay problem with and not Disney. Talk about Disney. It is though, like, <laughs> yeah. like, but like when you're a kid, those first like, oh maybe this. I think that's true for straight and gay kids. Like mm. your sexuality when you're a kid is cartoons. You know who yeah, I like? absolutely. This is very weird, and I don't know why. The Bears, 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 father, father. I mean, oh, so you're also into Bears. I you thought like you were gonna say bear. brother bear. No, <laughs> I don't know. That's a problem. Somebody what do you does. mean no? Somebody in this universe. Somebody. A hard no for brother bear. No, he was good. He liked to share with his sister. He's kind. <laughs> oh, you're attracted to the personality, not the fact that he's wow, an yeah. actual bear. Well, they, look, they're all bears. That's a given. <laughs> What's important is that they're is that they're bears. He's a care bear. Uh, yeah, with those bellies. Come on. <laughs> yeah, he, he had a nice belly and good hair and no pants. And... The, the, uh, the no pants thing is like you know no one ever wears anything in cartoons, and I think that uh, still. But they like wear some clothes. That's the weird thing about it. It's yeah. like I could fine if you're gonna have Donald Duck not wear pants. Don't make him wear a shirt. Which is a terrible look for a guy. <laughs> like n- no guys ever look good in a shirt and no pants. Like I don't care how good looking the guy is. Like if you like. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, a, a professional navy uniform on top and no pants on the bottom. That's not a that's not a great look. I Honestly, didn't... it's so funny to me. I'd be into it. <laughs> Cuz it's so funny. It's well, and you know what? And then your type is is comedy, I suppose. Yeah, yeah truly. Yeah, what's truly. your type? Cuz we're My we're type. sussing out everyone else. Um, I'm attracted to it's changed, right? Okay, so then there's a t- okay, so there's a type I tend to date and then there's a type that I Want to bleep? <laughs> um, and those are two do you mean wildly. Fuck? You can say that here. Yeah, yeah. You can say yeah, that. Yeah. I won't because I'm a lady. Ouch. Um, uh, the type that I tend to date are like very uh, tall, thin, sort of like nerdier introverts, and the type that I want to fuck are sort of just like heavily tattooed, big muscle dudes. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah. Like chefs. That is interesting. So <laughs> chefs. Chefs. <Yeah. laughs> For real though, chefs can get it. Oh, every, no matter what. Every chef is a scumbag. <laughs> There's not I've I'm so into two that. chefs. There's not a chef <laughs> that isn't a fucking Ooh, nightmare that. in the whole I world. Love that. If you're yeah. a chef watching this, you're fucked up. Mm. All the, chefs the are egos on them. Me. The egos. They think that egos, they're egos. Oh they're all on mm. like these crazy power trips. Love it. It's like this uh, is in your kitchen. Stop yelling at me. They are all short because of the and so, or or somehow they all got a Napoleon complex because they're they all have something True. to prove. Oh, uh, but they're like so hot. Those people I would lo- I would just like hook up with, but I would never be in a relationship with. I used to I work in restaurants for my whole life. Mm. That my job was like I'd get done in restaurants at two in the morning and. Then then you do just fuck everyone at the, in the <laughs> restaurant. It is just it. Is, you just run that place over. Oh my god! They'd have <laughs> they'd have new hosts coming in the summer. It was just like a buffet. What do we have here? <laughs> no wait, I don't get to the cards yet. No first, yes first, yes. We have our haunted word for the day. Uh-oh. This word Uh-oh. will inspire conversation amongst us gays. Uh, the haunted word for today is flamboyant. Yes. I like that. That was a lot of fun. I do like curing the things. That's that's very satisfying. I wonder if it would happen a second time. Now nah, I'm not going to screw with those guys. So flamboyant. Uh, 
makes me think <laughs> the Met Gala was yes, it was like yesterday yeah. or the day before, and their theme was camp um, and flamboyance and camp. I feel like are huh. very related. You haven't heard about it? Well, I saw the looks, but I didn't know what the theme was. And I feel like I didn't everybody's get been going camp, 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 camp. They don't know what camp is. Yeah. Like, oh God. It's <laughs> I, I did like That's all I've been hearing. Yeah, the, basically on Twitter. The, the takes on the Met Gala are more annoying than the fact that yeah. no one was on theme yeah. on, on the Met Gala. Um, and I say that as a person who's very campy. I mean, look at how I'm dressed. <laughs> uh, I, actually, that that uh, that does make me think about this uh, uh, with flamboyance. Uh, when you talk about like naming yourself and being a part of a community, mm. when people first come out, I have noticed in my experience there is, especially if they come out young, like early college, you see it a lot. Um, a people lean into a, 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 a type. Um, uh, uh, I've always thought it's a, a way to sort of self-identify and 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 put you and behave as if you are a member of a community, um, which I think is a good thing. Um, there's a there's a uh, uh, <laughs> that I'm vamping till I think of something more interesting to say about about flamboyance. But no, but, uh, but it's it's interesting too that you yeah. that when people come out they tend to like come out. Mm-hmm. You know, they, every person that has that I've known that especially at an er, especially during college time would come out and then they would just be like the most so much so that I'm like this is a little bit. Um, Presentational, yeah. It is. Pre- mm-hmm. th- there is a presentational element of it for sure. I was told when I was coming out, I was like, oh, I got to tell this person at the party tonight, and then I got to tell that person, and like I would corner them, like I've got something to say, <laughs> and my friend was like, I think you like coming out, like I would like <laughs> oh, look that's... forward to it, like oh, well, this person doesn't know yet. <laughs> I gotta come out. What would you say? Do you, do you remember like like hey, what the I'm convers- still me? <laughs> just, like, just skip and run and laugh, you know. But I'm gay. John, the skipping already gave it away. Uh, mm. <laughs> Touche. Uh, yeah, there. Yeah, all, and that actually makes me think of the fact that no one tells you that once you come out, you have to keep coming out for for forever. Mm. Like you, you I'm keep- still not out to everybody. Like there's, I can't post on Facebook because. Or, or certain things on Facebook because I'm like uh, this distant family because now it's all old people sure. on Facebook. So yeah, like, e- eventually everyone you're not out to will die, and that'll, <laughs> that'll be fine. Yeah. And that happens in our lives, and that's yeah. you know it's the part of the cycle of life. We'll all die too. I feel like when I started, like because I feel like I'm still like in kind of in the process of mm. coming. I'm like so new. I feel like it just being like a lot more blazers. Um, and I mean I've always dressed like a tomboy, but like in my early 20s, I really like tried to like wear like high heels and just tiny dresses. And mm. now I'm like, I will never put on a pair of high heels unless someone is paying me. They're so well, uncomfortable. Like, what was I doing? I know shit underneath that. Would be Ooh, good look. Whoa. That would actually, maybe. all right. That's like an Anne Hathaway look. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> That's maybe a big blazer so it works as a skirt too. <gasps> That's a Met Gala look. That's a Met Gala look. It's Not that's camp. a that's a no pants and a shirt look. That's a that's the a cartoon gig look. That's that's camp cartoon. and that's camp. I did I did wake up in someone's bed the other day and I was just wearing a turtleneck and no pants and I did feel like a cartoon character just because there's so much coverage. A, t- a, a, a turtleneck is the a most shirt you yeah. can wear. That's there's that's that's more fa- yeah, that the next step is a blanket. The next I step I'm is like, I'm like am I wearing a turtleneck and no pants? <laughs> oh boy, I need to get out of here. Uh. I have never been a particularly now that's see I was gonna say I've never been a particularly flamboyant person. Have you dressed up in drag? I have done drag. I've done drag for uh, four. Th- that's a, this doesn't count. No, I was gonna. I've I've played characters that have done drag because mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. I'm a very talented actor uh, oh, with a lot of yeah, um, sure. uh, real ability sure. as a performer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. uh, a chameleon. Uh, yeah, yeah. I really, yeah, I really embody a lot of characters. Uh, but I have not done drag. No, that's not true. There's a uh, <laughs> when I was in high school. Uh, I remember I threw the like the only big party I ever threw in high school was a Halloween party. Um, and I went and dragged to that. As what? What was your drag name? Uh, I don't think I had one. I, did, I Like, I was 16, so I didn't... <laughs> I, was, I, I wasn't good at it. It was just like, what are, what are uh, lady things? Um, and I do remember my dad uh, uh, came home and... I said, "Hey, Dad," and he gave me like a 
I didn't know that was you. Look, <laughs> it is. Um, no, yeah, no, my dad's fine. He was, he was, he was fine, but it was, uh, there was like a look of like, okay, <clears throat> I guess I'm gonna go upstairs. <laughs> this isn't gonna be good. Christine, um, have, have you ever done drag? I haven't, but I feel like um, I feel like I ha- no, I've never done drag. Would you ever do it? Yeah, I've definitely like put on like fake beards and mustache. If you mean like be a drag king, I would totally be open to that. You don't, you don't have I'd to be, be like a drag a, king. You could be a bio queen, right? You could. Be. That's true. Um, I no, I haven't, but I'd be totally open to it. It seems like a lot of fun. I mean, um, my brother, my brother's gay. He's a gay dancer as well, <laughs> um, and he's done drag. Definitely. Wow, the only two. Yeah, we figured out the only two. They only only allow two a year. That's it. Good. Yeah. Good. Absolutely. In this graduating class. Yeah. Exactly. (laughs) Uh, uh, What about you, Oscar? Have you done drag? I do. do, Yeah, I do drag. Um, uh, I host a show where I perform in drag. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. That's great. Uh, And it's really fun. It's like it taps into. it really, you do embody a different sort of character mm-hmm. when you put on so many layers of stuff, right? Wig, makeup, outfits. Like, you, it, bec- it becomes a very specific part of you that's, like, really fun. Yeah, well, and I, I think I know, but uh, because I don't do it, d- d- maybe you have better language f- for it. What is the appeal of, of doing drag? The appeal of drag to me is the, I mean, it's the, the, I mean, if, you know, back to the root word flamboyant, yeah. right? It is being just extravagant in every aspect of your personality. It's being, honestly, what drag is to me is just being unapologetically yourself yep. to the, to an extended degree. You Interesting. Know? And it's so fun because the things that you're, afraid to sort of like to say or to like perform or to be it's accepted when it's a dude in a dress sure when, when there's a when there's a layer of character yeah mm-hmm. and because drag is performance you're performing gender and that to me is like fucking cool you know? it is and and but also like performing performing persona yeah like just like a it's like a suit it's a bit like of a superhero vibe that's very, really very cool. interesting. Yeah. It's almost like when you're little, it's like you have this fantasy of like you singing in the mirror or whatever. Mm-hmm. Doing drag is like it coming true and letting you live out that like fantasy. Totally. Do you have you ever done drag? I just started because I'm doing his show. <laughs> um, I don't think I've reached that peak of like why it's fantastic sure. yet because it's just it's love. you're ju- you're just getting on. We're just it, yeah. getting on. Uh, but yeah, I. Did my own makeup, which I've never done before. Uh, I looked atrocious. Uh, I just tried to do a shadowy eye, and then it just looked like two black eyes. <laughs> oh, Oscar hit John. Oh, that wasn't good. Something happened backstage. We need to help that man. Um, uh, my name is Mistakes. <laughs> and uh, But uh, I didn't know what the, who the character was. I thought I would find it putting on the makeup and putting on the wig but then when I stepped on stage and the audience laughed at one thing like I did which was kind of sassy I was like oh there's the character and then so it was like kind of fun like, and, and I also say like mis- mistakes was you I mean it was John just like heightened and like yeah, all the you you're so great. <laughs> I'm so excited to to see mistakes again. Yeah, I can't wait to like I think Nicole my roommate's going to put a face on me next time so it's going to oh. be extravagant and then I'm going to live out the fantasy of singing some awesome song. Oh god, that's so fun. It's fun. Yeah. Every every single person should do drag. Yeah. Every single person that has ever lived should do drag. It's having I mean it's it, it's having a moment right now. Sure, yeah, um, it's hot. I, I, be, right now. I think be probably because of drag race, sure. but yeah. but I think that that is having a moment. Oh god, it really is a sociology class in here. But Oscar's <laughs> show it's, is like have like he, his show is the reason why it's like a moment around me. Like mm. I was totally introduced. Like I watched Drag Race, but then my boyfriend really liked Oscar's show, so we kept going, and it just like blew me away and made me excited. And, and also, like, the show has a, it's like all amateur yeah. drag mm-hmm. performers. Like no one is a name or anything. It's just like people trying it for the first time and truly embodying their drag persona in such a fun. Way not one person is like. Str- everyone is so. As soon as they hit that stage, everyone is so happy, and mm. it's just like 
awesome to to watch. It's such a good vibe. There. We're doing the plugs at the end, but plug it now. Yeah. The, I mean, it's, it's, it'd be weird to it's not plug out. it right it's here at the moment. It's sold out. I mean, <laughs> sure, right, right, it's sure. Sure. five minutes out. Um, you know, it's a big deal. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I have. Yeah, I've never. I've I've only done drag in in characters. I'd be afraid to walk in the heels. I'd hurt myself. You could wear. I, you, you could be a drag queen that wears flats. I wouldn't want to be though. I, I, if I do it, I want you know. Chunky heel. You know? Chunky heel. I, oh, this is great. A chunky this, like a wedge. A wedge a heel. Wedge. Yeah, there you go. Wedge. You should be the wedge heel. queen. <laughs> and you're already so tall. They you call me that. <laughs> But I do think it's interesting Terry to see that bridge. there's so many like younger like just how much there's so many younger people who are like getting into everything because of like the shifting paradigm. This is becoming a sociology yeah. class, absolutely. No, but the shifting par- paradigm where like I wish that there was like this much like queerness when I was growing up because I would have known earlier. Like you know For what sure. I mean? Like even like you were talking about earlier, just having the language and seeing like you can like half of the people who like do makeup tutorials are like a lot of them are like young young boys. Yeah, yeah. And that's like. Great. That's so amazing and cool to see, but I wish it was like around earlier. It was earlier. wild. I had I teach improv classes, and I had a student of mine who uh, actually listens to this podcast, uh, <laughs> and I think signed up for my class because of anyway, whatever. Um, <laughs> he came in first day of class, full face, full makeup, hu- like hoop earrings, and like I think heels. And I was like blown away. And I was like, what? I mean, what? And he was like, yeah, I'm, I'm 16 years old. I'm like, you're 16 and you're like so, you have like found yourself yeah. already at 16. Like, what the fuck was I doing at 16? Like, I didn't know who the hell I was. I'm jealous right. he's doing improv at 16. And I love the and fact like, that he is truly a star, like killing it. Like, just like so. I'm like, He's not my son, but I feel so proud of him. I would now don't talk too much about him, or I'm going to start to get jealous and resent him uh, because that's very young to be successful and, and good. So I'm really not going to enjoy who that. You are wow. Uh, my deep well of bitterness is going to is, is really is, we're just going to tap into it here. So let's all let's all be very careful. He's got a lot of learning to do, and if you're watching right now, you know, know your place. Uh, I, I am trying to think if there's anything flamboyant. About, I mean, yes, but but I dress normcore because I'm too tall for anything else. <laughs> In your mind's eye, like how do how would you want to sort of present yourself as you as the most? Uh, this is the, uh, um, uh, and it's going to it's going to sound weird considering the fact that I'm wearing a blue Oxford shirt, but exactly the way I do. Huh. I I'm I I present myself pretty much the way I. I feel, mm-hmm. um, uh, uh, you know, if you dress normal, then you can sort of fuck with it. Then you, then you can sort of, then you can sort of fuck with normalcy. Mm-hmm. So this, this is a, a conscious choice what I'm wearing here. Um, you know, there are lots of. Um, I, Oh God! I was going to reference George Costanza, really, really tapping into our sixteen-year-old audience and knowing, knowing what they're into. And the references. Uh, speaking of our sixteen-year-old audience, uh, oh. and, we're, and we're getting there kind of early in the show, but we have some good ones. So I want to leave. I want to leave a good amount of time for some questions mm-hmm. uh, from the audience here at the end. Um, these are in no particular order. They've just, uh, uh, you know, been handed to me like this. Um, a question. I am 16 and have come out to my closest family and friends. Some people at school ask me if I'm gay or bi, and I never know how to react. I'm not ashamed in any way for being bi, but I'm just not sure if I want to be loud and proud yet. So how should I answer people? So how should I answer when people ask? I would say say you're queer because I feel like that opens the door to kind of not necessarily be like I'm gay and bi. It's more of like a blanket, right? Mm-hmm. I agree with that. Yeah, it's I the I I, I t- assuming nothing, just uh, yeah. using the language of the questions. I'm not ashamed in any way for being bi. So I assume this person is bi. Yeah. Um. Which I'd say if people are asking you, that means the, they want to date. That, yeah, they're, yeah, they're definitely trying to fuck, and there's hey, no two ways uh, about that. Are you gay or bi? <laughs> <laughs> just in that way. Yeah. Just checking for a friend. Checking for friends. Yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to find out for uh, the sake of my penis um, <laughs> or my vagina. vagina. I'm assuming nothing yeah. or anything. Look, or anything. guys, I don't want to get yelled at. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I think if people are asking you, they are. 
uh, potentially picking up on something. They're like mm. what people people used to ask me like, <laughs> so do you, do you think you're gay? Uh, because the, the the subtext is because we all think you are. Yeah. yeah. Um, no I, one's ever asking someone who's uh, heterosexual presenting. Yeah, that doesn't like, like or if they are, it's they're then they truly ask everyone. Yes. Yes. Um, if you're if you're getting asked that, they are probably picking up on something, and potentially. Giving, uh, t- trying to offer you space to be out to them mm-hmm. um, is I, in my experience, more often than not, how that question is asked. So I would say that when you're asked, that's a great opportunity to say yes, I'm by. Because um, th- this person told their friends. Yes. So the that obviously the friends would like speak to other people word of mouth so people don't want to I think the people asking that person don't want to assume so they want to get clarify that's clarify a, that's a, that's a like, great point or they or they don't want to uh, say like hey I know you're bi and you you mm-hmm. haven't told me but I know you are so, yeah. so but like sort of like they I know you're or bi word so on the tell street me. is yeah, that you're yeah. bi yeah um, yeah because if not in not in a bad way uh you know, if you're out to your friends, your friends probably told people. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's, that, that, 25 that years happens. ago, it would have been, I felt like a bad way. Yes. Yeah, for like, sure. Gay? What? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever asked anybody if they were queer at all? I don't, I, 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 I don't think I've I ever think just so. straight up been like, hey, by the way, I feel are like, you blank? I feel you like know? that's a straight thing. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like yeah. that, I feel like straight people. Uh, don't have don't have uh, I just assume language. everyone's queer <laughs> me too and, yeah I mean I, I feel like before I even knew a lot of people would be like so you're a lesbian right or like you're or like you're gay and I was always like no but now I'm like yeah they fucking knew everyone in my <laughs> like everyone in my family like I found out that my aunts like had a bet going that like <laughs> because every, like I was just like such a tomboy like my mm-hmm. me and my brother who was gay people used to think we were twins they used to think that we were two girls or two boys um, so now I'm like okay yeah that makes sense they're, they are picking up on something. Who won the bet? Which aunt? Which it was? was I mean, like, bye. So I guess no one. <laughs> wow, yeah, I win. Yeah, yeah. Um. And actually, and this is, I, I tangentially related to that question. But do you ever say that? You, like, I, I a lot of times will say that I'm gay, meaning queer, or yeah. or or talk about gay people and, and including myself in that conversation as a shorthand for queer. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't because it is by erasure. It is by it is by erasure. Yeah. Um. Do, do you ever do that, uh, or am I being bad? <laughs> um, I mean, sometimes I'll say like like oh like let like because to, to me it's it is one of those things where I feel like if you get labeled as like lesbian then people don't a- acknowledge the fact that you're bi but I think I'm actually more I think I am more leaning towards pan because I definitely have had like been attracted to people who are non-binary mm-hmm. um but at the same time, I feel like I have to explain pan more to more people because mm. not as many people know. Yes. So I just say bi more, I yeah. think. I think I didn't, like, yeah. Or I just say queer. Uh, that's, I always, um, I'm terribly curious how other uh, people who are not gay or straight do, uh, Identify, it, it, yeah. do, do that because mm-hmm. I think I do it wrong. Because <laughs> no. I, I do it bad. Um, uh, uh, as the commenters frequently let me know. Uh, <laughs> that, really? Yeah. <laughs> We don't, we don't need to worry too much about it. The way I first came out, the first person I came out to was by somebody going like, are you gay? And I was like, no. It's like, you're gay. And I was like, no. <gasps> it's like, John, I know you're gay. And I was like, I'm not. And then he like, it was like kind of goodwill hunting. Was who, the, who was this person? Uh, a good friend from high school. And then we lived together after college. And then he like broke it down. And I was wow. Like, yeah. Did he ever tell you how he knew that you were gay? Had we're he... just like close friends. And okay. He, yeah, you just know. He hadn't seen you doing something no. great. <laughs> or, but, may, or not. But I, it was a tactic that I wasn't prepared for. And I wasn't planning on coming out that night. And then he wow. got it. Is that the interrogation? The, Is that mm-hmm. the tactic? That's the first time you came out? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh my How'd God. How'd it go? Like, what happened after you said, yeah, I'm gay? Uh, uh, we drank uh, Bass Ale. I remember that. <laughs> drinking beer. You look then, hell of a beer. Yeah. Don't drink it anymore, but uh, yeah, that was, it was just, I, I think I cried. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oscar, do you remember the first time you said to someone that you were gay? Uh, ha, 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 do I remember? You were 17. So long ago. Um, 
I think I told a girl that I was dating that I. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. What's up, babe? <laughs> <laughs> um, I was breaking up with her, and she uh, was like, "I don't believe you." So I was like, I don't think that this is working. Like, this is what she's like. I don't believe that. I was like, uh, well, this is a, what, what, what? I thought this was just going to be a clean cut and I was going to leave. And she was like, no, no, no. Why are you breaking up with me? And I was like, um, I don't believe you is a weird just, way to say, no. is a weird response to this yeah. isn't working. Like, well, I'm telling you. Yeah, like, I'm well, pretty you're great. Um, I mean, uh, don't want to break up with yeah. yeah. um, But uh, yeah, I was like, I, I'm, I don't think I'm attracted to you. She's like, Attracted to me or da, da, da. Ooh. I was like, Ooh. you're like, well played. And then I was like, oh, she knows. And then I was like, mm, I don't like women. Maybe I don't know. She was like, cool. And then left, and we never spoke again. Though if she knew that, then she also knew it wasn't working. Yeah. Then there's then there's a couple of reasons. Yeah. You know, high school is a weird <laughs> time Heady because days. it's not just liking some. I mean, maybe I went to a weird ass school, but like. When you date someone in high school, it's not just like hanging out with that person, it's the presentation of like, oh, so-and-so is dating so-and-so, and what that means in the social circle. You know. See, that's so wild to me because I went to an all girls school and I was still like, no, I like guys. And I remember someone was like, are you flirting with that girl? And I was like, no, I'm not. Um, but I also went to like a Catholic school. So maybe mm. that's why I feel Were like, you flirting with that girl? I think I was. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't, like, I think I was. I remember going back and being like, yeah, I totally had a crush on her. <laughs> but I was like too afraid. And so then, like, all my friends were also like those girls who like made out with other girls for attention. What? But I never, I was like, no, I'm straight. I'm not, I can't partake. I'm too straight. Um, and I look back and I'm just like, wow, I could have made out with a yeah, ton of girls. <laughs> uh, uh, what not an idiot. for attention. The, the, not the for wasted attention. time. The wasted I think time. Like, been. I, I had so many baths that were offered to me and me being like, no, I don't want to take a bath with you. It's fine. I'm for good. For attention? No, what do you mean baths? <laughs> yeah, we're going to ba- bathe together. <laughs> I just had like friends who were like, this, I think this girl was hitting on me, obviously, because she was like, do you want to take a bath? And I was like, How old no. Were you? I was like 21. <laughs> yeah, she was hitting on you. <laughs> what do you mean do you want to take yeah, a that, bath? That's a full ass adult. Hey, like, you're, do, I do you want to come over to my body. studio apartment and take a <laughs> bath with me? Yeah, that's what she was hitting on. Do, do you remember the first time you said to someone that you were queer? It was like, I don't know, like maybe like last year, like 2017, probably. That's great. I mean, um, yeah, because it was one of those things where it was just like this girl started kissing me and I was like, oh my God. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then. Uh, I think it was probably like the next day. Sure. After that happened. That's a good indication. That's a kind of like, oh yeah, no, this is right. This on. makes yeah. sense. I'm, yeah. di- I'm definitely like, down with oh, this. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see what's up. Uh, I took us down a long tangent away from this question. Uh, the, the the question at its core is, how should I answer when people ask? Um, to which I say, wouldn't you like to know? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you come yes, find I out? <laughs> Why don't you come find out? <laughs> you, and then walk into a <laughs> closet. <laughs> um, Seven minutes. Uh, uh, Touch their chin. I, I, if people are asking you, I imagine it would feel way worse to say no than to say yes. To 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 when you're when you're offered the space, and you can kind of tell if you're in an unsafe situation or if they're asking you in order to do you harm. Yep. Uh, yeah. and, and if you're in that situation, lie. Of course lie. Um, but if it's not a situation like that and someone's asking out of genuine curiosity. And if they're hot? Yeah, oh, especially if they're hot. <laughs> if they're hot, right on. Like, say, you you ask them. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm real excited. Uh, uh, I, I think I, also, I think also, like, w- when it comes to coming out, it's so weird because it's a personal experience made public you know yeah. so it, it's it is like why are you you are not you don't have to answer that question at all if you don't want to right sexuality is private as well mm-hmm. you know you don't have to make you don't have to like yeah I don't know I think like if you don't feel comfortable giving even yourself a label and like if you're still on that journey of figuring it out or if there is a, a your sexuality doesn't even have a name for it yet. Like that's totally fine. You are on your own path. You're not doing it for other people. Mm-hmm. You're doing it for yourself. And if it benefits you to say queer other than than bi because you feel more comfortable with that label, by all means, say that you're queer. You're not lying, right? Uh, but if you're more comfortable with the term bi, but are afraid that like 
bi has a specific connotation or whatever, say that label, it's your label, you own it, you make it what you want it to mm. be, you know? Mm -hmm. That actually leads us very well into the next question, yes. um, which which interestingly has come up a couple times on this podcast already. Uh, the term queer has recently come into use in the LGBT plus community, and on some level I'm glad it seems to have been reclaimed by so many people. However, when and where I grew up, this was 100% a slur, mm -hmm. and to this day I feel pretty uncomfortable saying or hearing it, almost on the level of the F slur. Did other people experience this, or are they simply over that over it? I think there are benefits to reclaiming a slur, but I've also seen firsthand proof that it gives all kinds of license to other people using it for their own intents. Did I bring this up to you last night? We were talking about this a little bit last night. I yeah. I honestly don't like the word queer because it's still I still like think mm -hmm. about the old days, like twenty sure. years ago, like where it was a slur, and I was just like, I don't like this word, and it's still. I choose to use another word other than queer. Mm. I, I don't know. I understand it, and I'm happy people mm -hmm. use it uh, for good. But Absolutely. like, I just it rubs me the wrong way. Uh, it, because it uh, it was a slur. Like yeah. it's 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 origin. I haven't mm -hmm. done the history on it, mm -hmm. but if, as as much as I understand, it it did start as a slur for gay people. Yeah. Um. It it is a word that means. Wrong in uh, mm -hmm. you know uh, 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 in Webster's dictionary again. Don't look that weird. up. I'm assuming. Yeah, it's yeah. weird. It's odd. It's yeah. strange. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I I absolutely see see where where you and and where the questioner are are coming yeah. from. Even like when I was coming out to my mom and I was like, yeah, I'm queer, and she's like, you know, she's like, I don't like that word. She's like, I have nothing wrong with like mm -hmm. sexuality, but she's like, to me that word, it's just like it's there's not a good connotation. So I think there's a lot of people who do feel that way about it but for me I don't know I feel like I understand that like the history of it is probably is a lot more dark but I f it like what would be a better blanket term than for uh, that's that's what I like about we would it need like a new word we need mm -hmm. new language then maybe is you know? I, I, I do like about queer that it is a word that that that, that, it, that, that to me uh, encompasses every um, uh, uh, alternate sexuality yeah um uh, 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 and I don't have another good word for that uh, uh, aside from listing off twenty, ac you know, like like yeah. an acronym that's twenty letters long. Yeah. Um, so I like the word queer for that reason. However, it is a reclaimed slur, and I totally uh, get like yeah, like re reclaiming slurs is a is a tricky business mm -hmm. that is that mm -hmm. has limited reward. Um, it's interesting. Like I would call myself queer and love that term a lot. I understand that it was a slur before. To me, it like what you said, Grant, it is like a blanket term. It makes me feel like I'm not like segregating myself mm -hmm. from my other LGBTQ plus people, you know? Like um and to me it's a little more like politically charged than like gay, you know what I mean? Like so however, I would never call someone else queer until they self-label themselves that. Interesting. Like I would never be like, "Hey, you're queer, right?" Like I would that would that's that would make me feel uncomfortable. Now I might Actually, no. Mm. I, 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 I might use that in an effort to be inclusive mm -hmm. to to, to uh, a person and say like you're. Although I don't think I'd ever ask anyone about that. Like uh, as in the first question, like I'd no, I'd never say like you're gay, right? Uh, but um, <laughs> you're gay. You're gay. You're one of those. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, but I but I might. Um, there's someone back there. There's someone the back there. <laughs> Wait, what happened? In the there's, someone, there's someone in the closet back oh, here. Yeah. Come out. You're allowed to on the show. <laughs> um, uh... So we seem to be of, of different minds on this on the panel, and uh, yeah. and I don't know that we will get to an answer. I guess it's a mental thing with me. Like it's just like being called like queer in like high school or grade school. Like hey, you queer, and then like identifying as that. Like yes, I am gay, but like the word queer makes me think that they are still calling me that. And yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we were talking a little bit like, last... yes, I am a cool... Like, I don't know. I don't know. We were talking even a little a little last night uh, at a thing about about hearing the F word a lot in in movies. Oh, jeez. Um, not fuck. Bring it on. Uh, then, yeah, in the movie, bring oh, it on. Oh, really? What? Oh, my bring God. It's like, what is it? What did I say? It's like... Uh, it, I don't think you it was... You speak fag? I don't... It was, is that in Bring It On? Yeah. Uh, is that Bring It On? Bring It On? Elijah Dushku. Elijah Dushku. What? Because, like... 
oh my god, you speak fag, and that's they like so striking. To, I, 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 I guess I didn't realize that was the movie because it's because that seems like such a gay movie. Like yeah. like looking, yeah. it's like oh, but it was just the time. It was yeah. It that's was that time, was yeah. that was what was said. In, you know, in the nineties, that's how people talked. Whoa. That's the two thousands. I, I yeah. think. Right? Yeah, I, yeah. I moved to new town in nineteen ninety six, and I came home to my mom and dad, and I was like. I've been called fag so many times today. Like, I've never heard that word. I was like, fag? fag what's fag? And they're like, eh, I guess it's just a slur. <laughs> it's, like, yeah, it's, it's just some <laughs> awful thing. Anyway, have fun at school. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think we'll come to a consensus on that, but that's an interesting discussion, mm-hmm. uh, caller. <laughs> I want a big switchboard in front of me, like uh, like I'm <laughs> Fraser Crane. Uh, another I'm reference Ross. our audience will love. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Next question. I have a confession to make. (gasps) Scandalous. I often find myself seeking sex through anonymous apps, even when I'm not particularly attracted to the person or even in the mood that much. Even though I do consent and often initiate these encounters, I can't deny that a part of myself doesn't truly want to hook up. And then afterwards, I feel dumb and ashamed. It's like I lose control. I wonder if anyone else on the panel has dealt with anything similar. Subconsciously, I'm trying to, uh, subconsciously, am I trying to make up for lost time from being in the closet? Am I doing this for clout, validation, FOMO, maybe another reason, any advice would be appreciated. Well, for starters, I think that just goes with everything about hooking up generally. But I think if you don't want to, I think it's just like before you go on a date, you might want to relieve yourself and then you'll make a, you'll have a clearer head. Sure. I, uh, there's, I, like, I, so there's something about Mary? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is that... Hair gel? Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> uh, I've definitely been on like on an app, and I'm like, and then I do business, and then I'm like, oh, I don't want to be on this app anymore. Like, do mm. business. Mm. <laughs> Did I say masturbate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I can, I I blew a load all over my chest because oh, I was Grant. laying in my bed masturbating. <laughs> um, <laughs> is you know is the kind of thing that we can say on this on this show. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I. Love hooking up on apps. <laughs> I, I love it. I enjoy it. It's something that I've I've met a lot of great friends doing. Uh, it's something that I that I look forward to doing quite do a bit. Do you do you meet someone on a hookup app, hook up, and then just become friends yes. after that? Wow. Yes. Just like strictly friends or uh, friends with benefits. Uh, friends with benefits. Although you know, eventually uh, one or both of us will end up dating someone and oh. and then just be regular friends. I've yeah, I've met I've met good friends that way. Oh wow. Um, I, though, I think differently from this caller. <laughs> uh, 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 enjoy that and don't and don't feel bad about it afterwards. Um, so I would, I, I think that's good advice. Is if you find yourself on an app, jack off uh, and and see if and see how, see if if you're still there because you because. Oh, hormones and sex are a powerful yeah, thing. Yeah. That that can, you're like blinded. Yeah, you're like, it truly can. It truly can. You know, lead you to path. Not that I, that you don't want to isn't even the right language, but that you might feel true. badly about yeah. yourself afterwards. Although I would also say to this person, e- interrogate in yourself why it makes you feel bad. Do you feel bad because you feel like you're doing something you're not supposed to be mm. doing? Yeah, is it is absolutely. it related to... But that's to, also fun. Uh, yeah. Is it, it, could it be related to some internalized homophobia? Mm-hmm. Could it be related to some fear of hookup culture or, and this and the idea that you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be being monogamous and, and meeting people out in the world rather than on apps? Um, you know, I... I also think too. You know, you have these. You you say these anonymous apps. If you have fun with someone, call them and and or, or say like, hey, do you want to go and have a drink? Or ask them out for a drink first. Mm-hmm. Um, I I'll bet that will alleviate a lot of your uh, feeling bad about it. Is if you make it feel for yourself less like something you're not supposed to. Yeah, and and more like, mm-hmm. hey, here's a person that, yes, we met today, but we enjoy talking to one another and we're attracted to one another. We know that because we at least had a drink at my place first. Um, so there was nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Um, There's something interesting that that person wrote, which is um, that they're trying to make up for lost time, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, to me, it seems that this person has uh, come out later in life and feels like 
in order to be a good yeah, you got to get your numbers. Other, up. I have yeah. to like really get it in there, right? And it's it's an interesting theory that I'll, I that I, I know people that like really do think that it's like I've only hooked up with two dudes. I need to hook up with more, you know, in order to really be a gay man. And it's like, oh, when what kind of like well, that's I don't really understand that train of thinking because to me, like I don't know, like this culture. Queer culture, gay culture, LGBTQ a plus culture is bigger than just our sexuality yeah and you know? also you don't have to hook up with someone to be queer you know what I yeah, mean yep. it's like one of those things where um, I think that it's not necessarily validating or taking away from anything I'm um, hooking up with people um, because, and also we live in the age of like sex positivity and so I feel like mm. feeling shame for hooking up like I def like I went to Catholic school I definitely understand it but I think it's something that like no one cares as much as you do mm-hmm. you know what I mean so mm-hmm. I think if you can take away that shame from yourself and knowing that, like, yeah, no one, no one cares. Everyone's doing it. If you say that to yourself every day about ten things that happened that day, like, no one cares but you. Like, it'll yeah, it makes yeah. life so much I easier. That, yeah. it, it, I really, I really do think it's validating. To remember, like, no one gives a shit about you. No one you. gives a shit. No yeah, one. No everyone one cares shit. about their own deal. Did you hear that, guys? No, yeah. you <laughs> don't no one thinks about you, you all that much. First. My <laughs> boyfriend has an app that reminds him six times a day that he's going to die. Oh, that's a great. Yeah, it's like, yeah, this isn't. You're the, going to die. No one gives a shit. It's called Twitter. Uh, Six and being a woman the yeah. Eventually, wow. no one who remembers you will will be alive, yeah. and you'll be yeah. in the ground and dead. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's what's important to remember about hookups. <laughs> um, we're coming close to the end. Do I have time for one more question? Uh, yeah, I'm getting I'm getting the nod, and uh, I will try to be brief. Um, I'm a closeted bi guy, but I worry about the stigma that women don't find bi men attractive. What are your thoughts on the issue? Are there ways to help get rid of this stigma? I think the women that would be into him would be cool, sexy, like level-headed women. I agree I think, with that. Like, I agree with progressive. that. The women yeah. that you yeah. that wouldn't be are the women you don't want to like fuck with. Like, who gives a shit? Like, yeah. yeah. I, you want like an elevated lady. Like, I, I I fully agree. With you. Yeah, you're not gonna you're not going to date everyone. No. You're going to date uh, you know a limited number of people before you will die and yeah. turn to dust like uh, like all of us. Mm-hmm. Um, so spend your time dating people that want to date you. Spend your time sleeping with people that want to sleep with you. Well, I think also Christine, you like you you like hit it on the head with like now like sex positivity is very real mm-hmm. right now and if and that's part of being woke as well right if someone is like a straight up neanderthal when it comes to like sexual liberation in terms of like uh by progression, it's like, well, then see ya. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. Such an antiquated idea that, like, that you're only the sexuality of the like the last person you hooked up with. Yeah. That's kind of yeah, crazy. yeah. That's yeah. very well said. Yeah, there's you. You are what you say you are, mm-hmm. not yeah. not who you have slept with. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, I think also too, because um, if you're a closeted person, if you have sex with girls, it doesn't mean that you're straight, or you know what I mean. Yeah. Because it's like one of the yeah. Anyway, sorry. Oh no no no! Yeah. I, I I think that's yeah. about that. Uh, I, there, the, the end of the question, are there any ways to help get rid of this stigma? And I'm going to circle it back around to the top of this your question. Question. I'm a closeted bi guy. Mm-hmm. People in the closet aren't helping with the stigma. Mm. Uh, n- be out when you're out. Your journey is your own journey. Things will only get better the more people know other out people. Um, yeah. So when you're ready... We would love to have you in the community. Your voice will help this stigma uh, uh, go away. Mm-hmm. And you'll have more opportunity once you're out. Yeah, yeah oh, absolutely. being out is great. Yeah. It's just it's so, so good. It's so interesting, the, the term, clo- yeah, closeted to me is goes hand in hand with shame. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why we're in the closet. We're embarrassed about ourselves, so we're shutting ourselves out of our community. And that's in not order sexy. To, and that's not sexy, it's that's not, not hot, sexy. that's not a cute look. Yeah. In order for us to progress, as a community, we have to be proud about ourselves. That's literally what pride is all about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Being prideful about who you are, you know? So get out of that closet. Yeah. yeah. Welcome. I think that's a wonderful place uh, to wrap it up. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, does anyone have anything to add? John, where can people find you and uh, 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 and know you and John enjoy Heiser, you? John Instagram and uh, Twitter. Uh, a most recent tweet I tweeted was I needed a box big enough to m- mail three shoes in. <laughs> so I didn't have one, so I went on Amazon and ordered a comb. <laughs> now, do you get that joke? A 
hang on. Because Amazon sends you a huge box for like something oh. so small. <laughs> oh, I do get that. So job. if you like that tweet, uh, that is good. Uh, I thought you said. I thought you said a cone, yeah, not a cone. cone. No, that a but, comb. Uh, but but a cone would be would be a silly thing to have done. But a comb is yes. I do get that joke. Okay. That's wonderful. So if you like that tweet, find more tweets <laughs> of mine at John Milheiser. Uh, Oscar, where can people find you? Uh, 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 evidently, you host an amazing show. I host a show called Bad Drag Race. Uh, it's Drag Race, but it's bad. Uh, no. It's actually very good. Um, and you can find me on social media at Ozymo, O-Z-Z-Y-M-O. Yeah. Wonderful. Christine, where can people um, find you? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at, at Chrissy Med, C-H-R-I-S-S-M-E-D-S. And um, you can also follow, I did a short film that has gotten in, like it was at Outfest. We were just at Tribeca and we're going to be doing a few more festivals. Some of them we can't announce yet, but if you're in the area, like check it out and maybe you can come to a screening. Um, and that's I Think She Likes You Film. And you can find that on Instagram and I'm sure well, like it's on my normal Instagram as well. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, I am uh, at Grant OB on Twitter and uh, pictures of Grant on Instagram. <laughs> uh, if you're uh, listening to this uh, somewhere other than Dropout, know that you can find all sorts more content on dropout.tv. Uh, and you can chat with us in the exclusive Dropout Discord, where you can ask questions that may appear on a future episode of Tales from the Closet, hosted by me, Allie Beardsley. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Hey, it's Grant. If you like college humor and want to support us, sign up for Dropout. For the low price of 0.005% of my student loan debt, you'll get shows like Total Forgiveness, where I do stunts to try to pay down said student debt, access to an exclusive Dropout Discord where I'll talk about college loans, and sketches a full week earlier, like this one about my student loans. I studied acting. You took out loans to study acting? It's my one thing. That's it's my whole deal. Sign up for your free trial today. Then pay after that. I... I need it. <laughs>